Do you ever just stop and think about the beginning of your filmmaking journey? Or maybe you're at the beginning now, or maybe you're not even a filmmaker. You like shooting videos or you're a YouTuber, which is awesome. When I think about the beginning, I think about a lot actually, but I mostly fixate on the types of lights that I would use or how I would use them. And I remember starting off with those DIY can lights that you would get from Home Depot or those massive construction lights that would light up a building or melt your skin from two feet away. I used those lights not because I wanted to, but because I had to. I was young and broke and I didn't have the access then to budget-friendly tools that we do today. The landscape has completely changed. I've been fortunate enough to be able to work with a lot of different lights in my career, but one of my favorite lights that is budget-friendly that I've used to this day is the Godox SL60W, and I'm gonna tell you why. One being that it's $139 and the light output and quality you get from this motherfucker is insane. But really, the biggest reasons for me are just speed and ease of use. I love practicality. I don't like making things more complicated than they need to be. So if I find a tool that makes my life as a filmmaker easier, that's what I gravitate towards. For under $150, you get quite a bit from this little light, starting with this reflector, which gives you greater output for your Godox. This protective cap, which I thought was a light modifier, but it's just a protective cap and this softbox attachment for the Godox. It's really easy to put together. You just put the pins or whatever they are in these holes here, as you can see here, and they just go inside the uh, the Godox. It's a Bowens S-mount. No idea what that means, I just read it. Attaching the modifiers to the Godox is easy as well. You just pull back the lever, 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 button, whatever, and it locks into place. Like I said, my favorite modifier, which isn't even a modifier that comes with the Godox, is the protective cap because you have this little opening in the cap when coupled with uh, some haze or fog, you can get some really interesting lighting effects like these light rays and it just looks freaking amazing. I mean, I don't even have to say it. You can see it on the screen here. I'm a massive fan of light rays, silhouettes, slow motion, just overall moody looks and the Godox definitely gives me that versatility that I need as an indie filmmaker. One of my favorite things about this light kit is the softbox. It doesn't feel cheap and shitty like some other cheap lights and softboxes that I've used before. It's easy to put together, it's strong, it's sturdy, and I love that it connects easily to the mount on the Godox. It's not annoying to work with. But to my surprise, the surface area of the softbox is actually really big, giving you some greater light diffusion for those soft portraits or soft product photography that you're aiming for. I don't favor one look over the other. It really just depends on what my end goal is, what I'm trying to shoot. Sometimes I will want these softer shadows, this creamier image like here, and then there will be other times where I will want that stronger contrast. I will want those harsher shadows like a noir style. It really just depends on what I'm shooting. So the point of this is just so you can see a side-by-side -side comparison of the softbox versus the reflector and the types of images you get out of it. Not only has this light been out for over four years now, but it also happens to be my cheapest light and also the one that I reach for the most, which I find ironic. But enough talk about this light, you can find a bunch of other reviews online. I want to show you some sample footage.
my change, yo, it's night and day I told the backstabbers, put the knife away I'm trying to get my family to a nicer place Room for everybody, but no room for hate Everybody eating off the nicest place All right, friends, that's our time. I appreciate you sticking around and watching the video. If you found it valuable, interesting, or even just entertaining and enjoyed watching it, consider leaving a thumbs up and maybe subscribing and joining my very small community. Or don't. I don't give a f I don't tell you what to do. You're the master of your own choices. You decide whatever you do. Okay, goodbye.